warrior, you might be asking yourself, what is she doing snapping? Well, let me tell you something, not to be cute, but I want to talk about Snapchat. I still refer to this messaging app as they are self-described as Snapchat, although the company renamed it Snap uh, fairly recently. Now, Snapchat began in 2011, so that is already 13 plus years ago. Here's why I want to bring this to your attention. You know, I have family members in the Philadelphia area, and I remember driving there from New York City, where I'm based, and seeing these big white plain billboards going into Philly. There's a lot of billboards all over the sides of the highway, more than I think any other place I've been across the country. And just big plain white billboard with the little icon for Snapchat, that little yellow kind of blurby. I'm not sure what that is, um, but it's the icon for Snapchat. And that's it. And it would say, you know, we're not social media. And I wasn't thinking about it a lot. And this kind of slipped under the radar. Then our good friend, Tanya Jordan, who is the parent advocate and face of Bark.us, colleagues of ours in the technological world, brought it to our attention that Snap recently announced we're not social media. And then I started thinking, you know what? I saw these billboards in the last couple of months, end of January, February, March. And I recommend that all of you also follow Bark, like the dog, B-A-R-K dot U-S is the website. It is, I don't like to use the word monitoring, but it is a monitoring um, technology you, you, you can purchase for a very minimal amount to help you keep an eye on your kids' and your teens' phones. It will, for instance, notify you if suggestive images come through. It will notify you if harmful content language comes through. And in today's age, I am all about taking control. The days of we don't invade upon our children's privacy, we have to think differently. We have to think about making them our partners making them aware of everything happening. You know, and I know, it's a much different world just in the last couple of years. The predators are out to get them. Kids are the dollar signs. Kids are precious children. Nonstop are being used, abused. And so we, we have the right to take action if we bought those phones, if we bought those Chromebooks to any of the devices, the gaming consoles, we always seem to forget about Lots of boys on the, in particular on these gaming consoles. Wherever the kids are, so are the predators. Abused. Exploit it. That's an example of every five seconds or thereabouts, another child in the United States is abused, exploited, in, in real time, online. So let me let me get back to Snap here. So I'm thinking now, Titania did a great video and she's talking about Snap is not social media. Well, of course it's social media. It is described as, well, at least in 2011, when it broke for the iOS. That's the iPhone, everybody. Uh, Apple. That it's a cool messaging. You can put your pictures. You can put your 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 little thoughts, and everything will disappear within seconds, right? Even today, when the Warriors, we do workshops, we talk to kids, teens, they'll say, well, I did it on Snapchat, and it disappeared. Let me remind you that the three most popular platforms for kids are Snapchat, Instagram, and TikTok. So kids love this Snap because they think they can write, they can put nude images, foul language, whatever they want. It's disappearing. Well, you know, and I know, anything put out on the internet remains there forever. Somebody has captured it. Somebody has re- reshared it, retweeted it, reloaded it to a porn site. Whatever they're doing, it's there forever. And that's the number one misconception I get all the time. And also from parents and adults, like it disappears. No, it doesn't. It's there forever. Anything on the internet is there forever. It is somewhere in a cloud. Somebody's grabbed it. It is there. Nothing's disappearing. So how dare Snap 
now all of a sudden say that they are not a social media platform when they have, you know, since 2011, again, part of the iOS operating system with the iPhone oh, we're going to be cool, you know, like Snap. Remember the slang that came about? I'm not sure when, maybe with the Mean Girls movie or thereabouts, because I remember seeing it where kids would go Snap, you know, uh, meaning like, wow, cool, great. Um, So Snap came out, Snapchat, and the kids loved it. Again, drawn in because they think I can do anything I want and it's going to disappear. Nobody will see it. 13 plus years later, I'm here to tell you, it's there. Let's fast forward to 2024. So I think all of us, back in January, Snap actually put out um, a family center on their online platform where you can check in and different safety rules, regulations. That's all great, right? And Snap and other platforms always say, well, you have to be 13 to use this application, this platform. You know, and I know, there is no age, true age verification, that anybody can check a box, anybody can sign on, the kids are savvy, Um, they're on there, right? So uh, that doesn't really apply, right? There are no guardrails. But what I'm here to say is, so they put a little something out, well, we'll take anything. Hmm, but I'm also of the mind, I'm tired of saying we'll take anything when it comes to big tech for the safety of our children. Darn it, I almost said another word, but I didn't. Um because it's a family show. But I'm tired of saying, uh, you know, we'll take anything. There are no guard rails for any of this. In 2024, Snap is a major platform for buying and selling drugs. Our vulnerable kids are going on there and they are buying drugs with two clicks. Now, law enforcement tells us this. Various groups and organizations we work with tell us this. Why is this allowed? I'm getting tired of it. I know you are too. So it's up to us. We have so many um, parents we are dealing with. Fentanyl, one pill kills. Most of the drugs, let's face it, are coming over our open borders and they are being cut. They are being cut with fentanyl. It is a cheap, cheap substitute, right? To uh, filter down drugs. It is being cut into everything from aspirin to marijuana to everything you can imagine. And our kids, especially if there are no guardrails on on any of these big tech platforms, the predators are waiting, waiting. There's a vulnerable kid, somebody posting, I feel lonely tonight. My friends don't like me. I had a bad day at school. My parents yelled at me and they reach out. And a lot of them pretend to be another child, another teen. And we know kids within 24 hours fall victim. Used to be 48. Now it's like 24 in in replying and, and perhaps being caught in one of these sextortion schemes where they're exchanging nude images and dialogue. And we know that a lot of kids are buying drugs on Snap and other platforms as well. But let's stick with chat, uh, Snap right now. Um, And I I could sit here and tell you story after story about parents. My child was a football player. My daughter was straight A, this, that, and the other thing. And this is not to diminish this, but they would sneak out of the house to meet this person they met online to pick up the drugs or the bag would be dropped. Um, You know, they're using Cash App. Very dangerous. All these apps where kids can exchange money for a couple of dollars. They're buying pills from strangers. What's in these pills? And I just told you with our open borders, the cartels, one of their number one businesses, fentanyl and human trafficking, slavery. This is what we have in the United States. It's up to each and every one of us to protect our children. Talk to your kids. Do your kids have SNAP? Talk to them about that. It should only be their friends on the platforms, not open to strangers. Start educating yourself. Look up the company SNAP. See what they're doing. Snapchat is indeed, according to the Warriors, and my definition, a social media platform. So now they're trying to get away from calling themselves this? What is the reason behind this disassociation? Don't believe any of this propaganda, these lies, this misinformation, disinformation, whatever you want to call it. You must talk to your children. You must reach them somehow, some way, 
non-judgmental, and talk about these platforms. They are here to stay. Snap is indeed a social media platform. If you do one thing, if you take one thing away from this video, and please subscribe, I should have said that at the beginning of the video, right? We need numbers. We need information to get out there that other media may not be telling you, probably is not telling you. Subscribe, share. We want you to get these little nuggets, pieces of information, plant it in your brain, talk to your kids, have to start young. You have to start, the, the, I don't care, three, four, five, age appropriate, you gotta start with the information. That indeed, there are people out there that want to harm them. There are people out there that want to use them to make money. Maybe you want to phrase it that way. You have to be the guardrail because big tech and our government is allowing no guardrails. And I'll finish with this final thought. Uh, TikTok. TikTok has been included in this aid package to Ukraine and Israel. Um, and I think it was the Middle East. I It blows my mind because I just want to say to you, they could fast track getting rid of TikTok or banning it or divesting it, whatever they're saying, for political reasons in the last two months, right? But they can't fast track the 118th Congress. Something as simple as the Kids Online Safety Act that would just put a few guardrails holding, holding some big tech accountable, you know, to enact more safety features. They do have the power Congress they're choosing. I used to think, other reasons, but now I know if they can fast track TikTok to get rid of it for political reasons, they could certainly put, I can't say fast track because Kids Online Safety Act, Earn It Act, a host of others, Report Act is there. Again, all bipartisan legislation, pieces of legislation. They could fast track to any of these and they've been around the last four years total. We've been having all these child safety bills presented to Congress. And so they have the power and they're choosing not to protect our kids. So that's why it's up to each and every one of us. Community creates change. Remember, getting rid of TikTok does not solve, let's break away from the politics for a minute, does not solve helping keep our kids safe because all of the platforms, all of the platforms are subject to child safety issues, teen safety issues, open to the predators. The predators are winning and the laws lag behind technology. We are in AI, whether you realize it or not. We are here into the world of deep fakes. Everybody I know in tech is like, it's going to be a wild west free for all. We've been through this with Facebook, Twitter, these platforms. None of these uh, big tech companies are being held accountable. What's going to be? Be that warrior. Remember our hashtag, community creates tr change. Truly use it. I'm almost beside myself that every day I, things happen. I, I, I can't even believe are happening. But I know one or two things. As I fight hard in Albany, my state capital, and also Washington, D.C., and chip away with others, colleagues, organizations, nonprofits, uh, government, both sides, both parties, everybody, to ensure safety. And the parents, the parents whose children have been harmed or, oh my goodness, or have died as a result of perhaps a, a challenge they've taken from TikTok, sextortion perhaps they've encountered on Snap, um, fentanyl they've bought on one of these platforms. I'll chip away and do that, but you in your home chip away at protecting your kids and learning more. Read up about Snap, and I'll post in the body of this video um, information where you can read about that. It is 2024. It is a different world, a different country, a different community. Be that hashtag, community creates change. And remember each and every day, lindswarriors.org. Thank you for listening. Thank you for donating, volunteering, retweeting, Facebook, whatever you're doing and all your great comments. Remember always, no matter what, because there's a lot of disruption, a lot of noise going on around us. Be a warrior.